What's up guys? All right, so today what I'm gonna do is, cause I had to put back on my uh, cattle converters on my car to get it past emissions. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like to have a 370Z with cats and a uh, Fast Intentions uh, cat pack exhaust, the TDX one, with non and it's non-resonated. So uh, I'll give you uh, startup, drive-bys, and just overall what it sounds like outside and inside. Um, I did have test pipes on here before previously, but like I said, I just had to go through emissions, so I put my cats back on, so it's definitely way quieter, and uh, I'm going to throw my test pipes back on because I think it's too quiet, but I just want to let you guys know what it sounds like, so just in case if you guys are wanting an exhaust, uh, especially the uh, fast intention exhaust, um, in your cars, you know, has the cats and stuff like that, you'll know what it sounds like. But anyways, um, it's, you know, everything's still the same on the car, except for I have the cats back on it. That's what the exhaust still looks like. So yeah, I'll start it up for you. Um, it's already warmed up, so it's not gonna be a cold start, but um, you'll just, hear, you know, you hear what it sounds like idling. I'll give you a few, few revs, and then uh, we'll go up on this main road up here, and uh, I'll do some drive-bys, and then we'll do some uh, uh, driving on the inside of the car as well, so you know what it sounds like on the inside. Okay, we're gonna take off inside of the vehicle now. So you can hear what it sounds like on the inside. So what I noticed most about having catalytic converters and having uh, Z1 test pipes in here with this fast intention exhaust is that the uh, Z1 test pipes, when you uh, start driving freeway speeds, 70 80 miles an hour around like 2500 to 3000 rpms it's really droney with test pipes when you put your cattle converters back on all that drone is completely taken away obviously it's also a lot quieter it's not as loud but one of the biggest things i've noticed was just the drone and even like when you're just kind of like driving around town and stuff like that at like 45 50 miles an hour on regular streets you do get a lot of drone as well uh, with the test pipes. Um, it's not like unbearable or anything because I obviously I ran test pipes on here for a long time and I was completely fine with it but you just don't notice it as much until you go back to catalytic converters of how much it was. So um, it just depends on uh, if you're okay with that or if not um, you know what are you willing to sacrifice for you know a little bit more power or you want a little bit more comfort you know but like I said, this, I mean, this is actually, it sounds really good right now, it does. It's just not as loud as I would like it to be. It is a lot louder than a stock 370Z Nismo, for sure. But uh, like right now, we're cruising 50 miles an hour at like 2600, 2600 RPMs. And uh, it's pretty quiet in here right now, actually. So it's actually nice for a daily driver if you're not getting on it or anything like that. So uh, with the test pipes, it would obviously be a little bit louder and you hear a little bit of the drone, but it's, it sounds good though. Definitely sounds good with catalytic converters on it. So, I mean, I would be pretty content with this if I didn't want to do test pipes, but obviously I already have some test pipes, so I'm gonna put them back on. Um, let me downshift a little bit for you so you can uh, hear what it sounds like. That was the uh, 7,000 RPMs. Goes fifth gear, sixth gear. We're going like 60 right now. Pretty quiet. 
But yeah, it just depends on uh, what you want to do with your car or whatnot. And I just wanted you guys to know what it sounds like inside, outside, basically with the fast intentions, TDX uh, catback exhaust that's non-resonated. It's a non-resonated uh, catback exhaust. So you don't have to have resonators. If you have cat or if you have the catalytic converters, there won't be any drones, so you don't need the resonators for that. Um, now, if you have test pipes, it might be a good idea to get the resonators if you want to try to get rid of that drone as much as possible. I don't know if it deletes it permanently because I never had resonators on here, but uh, yeah, there's definitely drone with test pipes on here. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and like the video. And uh, the next video will probably be either I'll put my test pipes back on and try to duplicate the same video for you guys so you know what it sounds like with test pipes. I know if, I think I've done it before already on my channel. Just in case if I didn't, I might do that. Or it might be uh, I'm gonna delete the AC on my 300Z XZ31. So it just depends. I do have my headers in for my 370Z, so that video is gonna be coming out pretty soon as well. But anyways, hope you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll see you next time.